In the last quarter, well, Gary Ablett was just sensational. Kick number 15 towards Ablett. And just have a look at it. To half four. There is the master. And he runs his full distance as Burke leaves the ground. Have a look at this for a goal. Couldn't take the mark. Oh, he's a light, Gary Ablett. Look at this. Here is the magician at work. He shoots towards goal. What more can you say? As Burke leaves the ground, Ablett. For Geelong, Gary Ablett. Couldn't take the mark. Oh, he's a light, Gary Ablett. Look at this. Here is the magician at work. He shoots towards goal. What more can you say? The circumstances there. I was very impressed with Simon Atkins from a set shot from about 55 metres, just stood there and whacked it through. It was a terrific goal, that one. Gary Lyons, one-handed mark, then off he went. Terrific balance, uh, Gary Lyon, a top-class player. But uh, you said it all, Sandy, when you said enough set on the replay with uh, Gary Ablett. Well, a very highly skilled player. Look at this as he goes for the mark, misses it. But look at that explosive pace here. He shrugs off the man on the right, has a look to the left, shrugs another tackle, still has plenty of time to balance himself, and look at that deliberate kick. He is a magnificent kicker, and you will never see a better goal than that anywhere. Yes, a great performance by Gary Ablett, and he is the winner this week of Goal of the Week. Actually, Pete, just while I'm with you on this, I want to take you back a couple of years. Do you remember one of our esteemed gentlemen, in fact, I think he's at the far end of the panel at the other end, saying, well, he said a couple of weeks ago that Gary Ablett was the best champion he'd seen. He also said a couple of years ago that Dennis Marshall would carry Gary Ablett on his shoulders. That was not? definitely said in the old world of sport days, Sandy. He came in here one day and he said that Dennis Marshall would pick up and have him for breakfast, Gary Ablett. He said that Ablett had a long way to go. Do you that deny that, Bob? Davis. No, and he's just about made it now. He's just about there. <laughs> because now he's consistent and he finishes off his game. And that no doubt it's due to Malcolm Blight's great coaching down there. There isn't any way about it. Was I mean, De he's De always had God-given talent that he could, that more than anybody's ever had, probably. Was is it, true that, you, is it true that Geelong are doing better because you're keeping well away? No, that I've got them now substantially <laughs> solid, Ron. That's what it is. They're was Dennis better. Marshall a better player, though, Bob? He couldn't have been better than Ablett. No he, way. He was Dennis Marshall could do exactly the same as Ablett. If you'd have seen him play in the 63 team against... Uh, Victoria over in Western Australia. He did things there that Ablett could do he, all the time. He, he couldn't take as high a mark. Take a mark. Not, not as consistently as Ablett. No, he wasn't quite as good a high mark, but he was a better kicker than Ablett. Longer? At least as long. And he could and, he, and his ability to manoeuvre was excellent. And what's more, he played consistently all the time. Bob. But now Ablett has got that consistency, which makes him into the, into the superstar. Well, Ian Robertson, I noticed in the call yesterday, Robbo, you at one stage said, look, people have talked about Nash and other players. Mm. You've never seen anything like Ablett? Well, I'm probably not as old as Bob or oh, Barras. No, no. <laughs> no one is. But, um, no, I just shook my head a couple of times, really. Yeah. I mean, some of the things. Uh, one of those marks that he took, uh, I think it was uh, earlier on in the highlights, um, I, I think, really think that it was a one-hander. And he was backing back to the guy coming from behind. In other words, putting his body between his opponent and the ball. And he took the mark about a foot off the ground, and I even think to this day that it was a one-hander. Robbie, how do you assess G. Ablett? I'm a big fan of Ablett. I think uh, he can, he's miraculous in what he does. He, uh, he's got strength, he's got pace, he can mark, he can kick, he's got everything going for him, and he's the type of play I'd just go to watch him play. Rob? There's one other difference, Bob, between Marshall and Ablett. Ablett's got God, and Marshall's got millions. <laughs> well, that might be right, Ron. I don't, I'm not too sure. I think I'd like to have both, Ron, actually. I, I thought you had. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think on that note, we'll go to the gossip now. <laughs> Scotty, good morning. Good morning, Sandy. I've got two things on Ablett. The first thing I asked Malcolm Blight yesterday, do you know that Bob Davis is behind you in all your coaching moves down here in Geelong and you're doing a good job? All Malcolm said was, hell, is he? <laughs> and the other thing is, the other thing is that, um, of course, Hawthorne have still got a, a contract signed by Gary Ablett in the draw out there at Glenfrey yes. Oval. Yes. And when he was sort of deliberating whether he'd stay at Geelong. And wouldn't the Hawks just love to have him now just to top off their side? They would then be unbeatable. Well, well it would be handy. handy.